Nikki Bell here, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip Series entitled, Did You Know That?, where we will be discovering and or rediscovering, for some of you, tips from the 4350.3 Handbook. Today's tip can be found under determining the eligibility of a remaining family member of a tenant family. It's found in Chapter 3, Paragraph 3-16, Sections A and B. Sometimes a family composition changes after initial occupancy for some reason or the other and the head of household leaves the unit. Who then becomes the head of household is the question. This paragraph tells us the basic requirements for eligibility for a person to qualify as a remaining member of a household. The basic requirement is that, number one, the individual must have been a party to the lease when the family member leaves the unit. That's the first thing. The second, the individual must be of legal contract age under state law. In some states, the age is 18, and in others, like Alabama, Idaho, and Nebraska, it's 19 years of age. In a section 202 and 811 property, the surviving member of an elderly or disabled family is the member that remains in the unit after the death of a person, but they were on the lease and living in the unit will become the head of household. The remaining family number under number one, based on the death of the elderly person would have to qualify and be eligible based on the income. In this case, eligibility of the remaining family member as defined by the death of the family member is not reviewed. So you don't have to qualify them for eligibility. Number two, if the individual who establishes eligibility for the project leaves the unit for any reason other than death, in those properties, the owner must determine if the individual still residing in the unit meets the eligibility requirements. It's all here in the handbook. They have to meet the eligibility requirements for the project. If the individual is not eligible for the project, he or she may not receive rental assistance. And depending upon the type of project, he or she may or may not be allowed to remain in the unit. In a 2028 or a 202 PAC project, the individual may remain in the unit but must pay contract rent. In a 202 PRAC or 811 PRAC, the individual may not remain in the unit at all. Did you know that? An example of that would be, last week we had a manager that called. Her resident wanted to have his girlfriend as head of household. He wanted to add her to his lease so she could be head of household. He was on his way off to prison. Well, because she was not a, a member of the lease prior to that, the answer was no. He could not add her to the lease and she claimed head of household status. Well. Stay tuned for another Did You Know That fact in the near future. And we want to say happy holidays to you, and we'll see you next week.